Hello everyone and welcome to my first uh, YouTube FreeCAD video tutorial. Um, today's video is in response to um, Sergio Diaz. So he posted this. He says I can't or it's in drawing shit. And so he posted this picture where he shows us. Uh, I guess what he's trying to do here is that he's trying to um, get the projections of the plan right where um, anything that's below this the the, the view of the of the production cut should be a a line weight that is very thin and everything that is cut should be bold and I think he was trying to find a way to do that um, because I asked him uh, what is he up to and he's uh, he's trying to make a section wall with different heights and and represent that appropriately I think so uh, here's a quick uh, work around that you gave him uh, which is actually uh, what we're going to be covering and how to do that uh, very easily so I'm going to recreate the scenario so that um, we, we have something to work with. So as you can see, the version of FreeCAD that I'm using here is um, the 0 0.17. So let's get started. Um, so I'm going to go directly to the architecture workbench. And um, I'm going to start a new file. And I'm going to come here to the edit preference and uh, just checked the general units tab to make sure that I'm in millimeters alright everything looks good just click OK so I'm just gonna scroll out a little bit um, as you can see here uh, it tells me I'm 0 0.31 millimeters so if I were to just draw a little box there like this um, you know you could see how it's changing as you zoom in and out so I want to zoom out a little bit um, you know this is probably good 16 by 8 meters it's not bad so I'm going to delete that now I'm gonna just draw something that we can use um, doesn't really matter at this point so I'm gonna draw maybe a line that is um let's say you know horizontal vertical and then go down like this I'll give it a little bit of diagonal <clears throat> okay let's assume that this is what we have to work with and um, and let me um, turn that into a wall so I'm going to to turn it into a wall I'm going to have to turn this into a wire frame because um, otherwise it's going to turn an entire flat object into a wall uh, it's going to read that as an object, but I want it to read it as a wireframe. So I'm going to make the fo the face of this wire false. So it's only going to read the lines. So now I'm going to select the wire and select the wall. And now I have my wall, um, as you can see. Um, so now uh, we can add a few more little walls. Let's see how tall is this wall. In the data preference, um, our wall, um, our wall height is 17 meters. Um, so let's just do one that is three meters tall. Uh, okay, three M. Hold on. Oh, sorry, the height. Is already three meters so that's good um, so the next thing is I want to draw another object that is shorter than that height so uh, to do that um, if you see here this is uh, the, the workout plane so I'm gonna click on that and I'm going to tell it to go to the XY top view which is going to uh, draw on, on, on the X plane view so I, I'm going to select this and go to the top view and uh, I'm going to probably think about increasing this grid a little bit it's too uh, tiny let's see how you do that uh, probably here or pr preference uh, I think it's in a draft grid snapping and then the, the grid size so maybe here instead of millimeters I want that to be in meters 
it's not changing so I'm going to put 1000 and apply okay so now I'm going to try to do is that's just so that it's a little bit easy to to see my drawing to scale um, so I'm going to draw us let's pretend that I have a table inside this little place I have a table um, I'm going to draw a table here like this and I'm going to get my snaps uh, and this guy on sometimes you have to play with the snaps to figure out which one is working and which one isn't working so let's assume that this was my table and uh, let me uh, make turn this into a wire so I'm gonna come to the view and turn this into a wireframe so I can see in between and here I want to extrude this up so I'm going to um, select this tool it's it's called the trim and extend and I want to extrude it up but right now since I had set up my 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 um, plane to the XYZ plane that's because I wanted that every time you draw somewhere it 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 just draws automatically on that plane right um, so otherwise it just won't work so so that's what the computer remembers so if I were to attempt to extrude this plane uh, you can see here it's, it's not just gonna work because the distance here is not moving that's because the computer cannot contradict itself you already told it to constrain itself on the XY and now you're telling it to move upward in a specific direction so it's not going to do that so what we have to do is either come here to the auto right here as you can see so if I were to select that and do this again you would see it's going to work this time around or um, let's say uh, we'll go back to how it was let's say uh, instead of being at auto you want to go to um, uh, you want to select the plane that's on the side um, so for example let's say this wall or this wall this is going up and this is going up so if I were to select this side and make it a plane for example turn that back to a wireframe and then select this um, table now I can extrude it up and I can tell it by how much I want it to go up so I'm gonna go by 0 0.4 meters tall 0 0.4 roughly probably the size of a coffee table okay so I'm gonna delete that I don't really need that that was an example I'm gonna probably set my plane back to the XYZ plane okay so I have a table there so my wall I'm gonna go back to the shit flat line mode and I'm going to add some windows to it <coughs> change um, I'm gonna add some windows to it and select the window and <clears throat> here you can see it's not trying to snap anywhere uh, well at least on the edges but I want to put it on the face of this wall instead so what I want to do is I want to select the nearest right and this is what will allow me to move on the surfaces as well uh, very easily so now I can just click there I can take another window and then click here and then if you wanted to put a door for example um, you select the window, um, you come here, you tell it to be, let's say, a glass door, and you tell it to have the right height. Um, the height, you know, let's say it's going to be a 2.1 uh, meters height. Okay, uh, you can see this is how you add doors, right? That's my door. Okay, so that's looking good. Um, so what we want to do now is we're satisfied with that. that that's enough for the demonstration of what we're trying to do. Um, go back to the top view. So now what I want to do is I want to add a section cut plane. So there's two ways that I can do that. I can either just click here and select a section plane. Let me do it to show you what's going to happen. So if I were to do that, you see the section plane just appeared now the section plane appears relative to 
to the the side to the orientation of your of your plane of your working plane so again as you can see here the direction it's pointing I'm going to increase the direction here so you can see it's pointing downwards right um, so for example if I want to add another section plane I can select this face and then add uh, put my plane on that face and if I were to add a, a plane here you can see that the plane matches the orientation of the, the new surface and this is how you get certain specific kinds of planes so that being said so on this plane uh, go back to this mode on this plane let me just increase it so it's visually represented we can easily see it when we're working on the model um, so here in the view tab I have the display height I'm just going to scroll into that field to increase it so it covers the entire surface I can move it as well with the move command as you see I can position it like this and uh, I'm going to increase the arrow size as well probably make that 5 it's looking good I can see what's going on so now I want to cut it somewhere in the middle here somewhere above the table and somewhere uh, in the middle of all this so it's going to cut through the, the elements as well so I'm going to move it I'm going to select that and then in the data properties and placement I'm going to move it along the Z axis right so I'm going to move it 1.5 meters upwards as you can see here you know I can also scroll in here and move it easily or I can move it you know I can go to the front view like this and I can also move it like this. So, so well it, okay this is another one thing again with those um, with those plane and contradictions that you want to avoid so right now I'm, I'm locked in the top view and so in the top view I'm trying to move this on a perpendicular on a parallel plane which is technically impossible this is why it's behaving kind of weird like this and it's not moving at all so if I want to avoid that I have to uncheck that and go to the auto view maybe that's one of the views that will work and so now you can see I can easily move that up and down as well so that's one way is that you do that so that's that's that for that <clears throat> so we have our section plane in position our horizontal let's call it horizontal because we have an, another one horizontal plan and then you get this one we will call it vertical section okay all right um, so I'm going to hide the vertical section for now so now I can select this and so to extract any kind of 2d projection from the plan you have to press the 2d shape view and so look at what happens if I press that if I press that uh, I get a 2d shape view um, let me move that to the side go to the top view right we're good and just move it to the side as you can see there's nothing in the 2d shape view and uh, this is because uh, I do not put any element in my section plane so what I want to do is I want to select this wall and then I want to select the section plane and add the wall into the section plane like this right so now if I were to um, try that again so now I have a section a, a 2d shape view with a bit of top view and I can move it to the side so you can see what it looks like so there you go this is my 2d section uh, cut uh, it's looking good uh, nothing to say about it um, so next thing is you want you want to do it twice right and also by the way I forgot to mention 
one thing is that as you can see the table did not appear here so that's because the table was not added into the section plane but instead of just adding each individual object into the section plane what I can do is I can create a new folder create that uh, delete this one and rename this one I'm going to just call this one all objects all 3d objects I guess 3d objects and then I'm going to drag the wall inside and I'm going to drag the table inside as well so now I can just tell this folder get my section plane out and I can just select this folder press control and select the, uh, the section folder and add that into the folder and now you can see it automatically updated to show me uh, the table now um, in in the section plane as well the 2d section plane so now for what Sergio was trying to do here now so this is the part where we'll get to answer his question um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this and then create two of these guys two of these 2d section plane so I'm gonna press this created one and then it's gonna press this select that and create a second one okay so I have two of them just for visual purpose I'm gonna rename that so we don't get confused I'm gonna call this uh, one and I'm gonna call this two rename two okay so and this guy I'm just gonna hide him for now and then I'm gonna select this two go back to my top view and then probably move them in this direction right so now what I'm gonna do is I want to select one of these and I want them to show only the cut lines right so maybe the one on top I want the one on top to just show the cut line so I'm gonna go to the data properties here and select the um, projection here it's solid so I'm going to go to cut lines okay, as you can see it moved up because it's going to mirror exactly the place where it's being cut in terms of height height location um, so now I can select this and come here to the line thickness line width and go to maybe two or three even four if you want and it looks good so I can select the guy down here, number two, and this guy I'm going to change line thickness to one, and it looks good. And all I have to do now is basically move them together and combine them into one so it reads well. So I'm going to select this, um, make sure I'm in top view. So I'm in top view, so obviously look at how it's going to behave funky. It's not really trying to snap well, you know, it's behaving strange. But this time around it worked. So I'm going to go to the top view and you can see how uh, the drawing looks nice and you can get the proper line thickness and, it, and you know everything that's below uh, gets to show well. Um, you know this line is not being cut, this line is not being cut so they don't really get to show bold and you can always control the thickness of uh, the line that is cutting. Uh, and you know you can also independently control the color. And this is what makes it very easy to manipulate and uh, and also you know tweak and and fix. And you have all these different line uh, properties that you can use as well. You can make them dashed, as you know, dotted. You know, looks good. Um, solid. Back to solid. So this is how you do that. This is how you get those um, to the to the uh, drawings and so once you have that you can also keep on adding objects so let's say I wanted to add another object here like this and it's not trying to snap so I'm going to uncheck some guy the nearest I'm going to uncheck that close that um, so I'm going to duplicate that show you two examples 
select that move copy and then move copy there and then on one of the examples I want to extrude them I on one of the examples I'm going to extrude it below and on the other one I'm going to extrude it above the section cut plane so on this one I'm going to extrude it below so make sure that your plane is back to auto and then I can select that and extrude this you know probably that much okay and then this guy I can extrude it uh, probably that much so we're looking good here um, go back to the auto view and so now obviously these two objects are not going to show up here but if I want them to show up all I have to do now because this folder is already connected to um, to this section plane all I have to do I think is just add this into the folder um, and I think it should be it should naturally update but uh, let's see if I just slightly moved this section around and update that okay as you can see um, I just had to drag those objects into the folder and and since the folder was already connected to um, the section plane it just automatically added the new objects that I added and as you can see everything that reads below is going to remain with a thinner line weight and everything that's being cut is going to have a thicker line weight uh, and also one last thing before I let you go I can select this and come back here and I can tell it that instead of having cut lines I can have cut faces and that's it that scenario it's going to give me the entire face but you know because free cut is still experimental mode you can sometimes see how it doesn't behave properly in some areas so this is why uh, for now